Assalamualaikum. So tonight we are going to do question number one, mind test nine point one I. The diagram on the right shows a parallelogram FGHK. FGHK. Given that O is the origin and point K is located on the X axis. Okay, so K is on the X axis. So the coordinate of K automatically the Y is zero. I do not know the value of X. So we just label as X. And then what we have to notice about uh, what we call parallelogram is that K and H are parallel to FG. KF are parallel to KF is parallel to HG. Okay, that uh, the properties of parallelogram. Um, the equation of this line FG is 2y equals x plus 20. I noted here that the equation of FG is 2y equals 2x plus 20. Um, A determine the gradient of the straight line FG. Okay, so A, we want to know what is the gradient of FG. So what you have to understand is that uh, equation is in pattern. Uh, there are three types of uh, equation uh, or the type. Uh, so what is the gradient if you can write y equals to mx plus c, the gradient is m. That is the value of m. So what we will do here is that re we rearrange to make sure that only y is on the left side. So if from here you write down y is x over 2 plus 20 over 2 so it's same with 1 over 2x plus 10. So, so what is the gradient of? So the symbol for gradient will be m. So the gradient is 1 over 2. Uh, even though the question doesn't ask you, uh, this is c. This is c, the y-intercept. So for your info, I can pinpoint that f is 0, 10. So f is 10 here, is the value of uh, c. Okay. Even though it's not relevant to the question. Okay, so the answer for a will be 1 over 2, the gradient of the straight line fg. So b. The y-intercept of the straight line HK. Y-intercept of HK. So, y-intercept is that in this case, if I extend the line all the way. Uh, so, this is the y-intercept. So, how do I find the y-intercept? So, one of the way, if I create equation of HK, equation... H, K, Y equals M, X plus C. C is Y intercept. So you just need to find what is the value of C. So how to find that? We create equation of H, K. So first thing, we have to find the gradient. So H, K, the M is 1 over 2. How do I know that M is 1 over 2? Because FG, the gradient is 1 over 2. HK also, the gradient is 1 over 2 because they are parallel. If two lines parallel, they have the same gradient. So the gradient for HK is also 1 over 2. So how do I know the value of C? You substitute any point on the line of HK. So in this case, the point that I know is A. 2, this is x, this is y, we substitute in the equation y equal to mx plus c, so we say 2 equals 1 over 2 times x, which is 8, 
plus C. So 1 over 2 times 8 will be 4 plus C. So the value of C, you move that 4 to the other side, become 2 minus 4. So the value of C will be negative 2. So the answer for uh, for B, that is the y-intercept of the line HK will be negative 2. This is the answer. Just state the value of C. And then C, the equation of this line HK. So the answer for C, actually we have it already. Uh, just rewrite. We have to rewrite. Rewrite means the equation you have to... to uh, Put in the value or write the value of m and c. So equation of hk is y equals 1 over 2x minus 2. Okay? But then this is what we call in gradient form. So and then we sometimes we, uh, we want to eliminate the fraction. We multiply everything with 2. So the equation could be written as x minus for 2y equals x minus 4. Okay? And then another pattern is that make it into what we call general form. So 0 equals x minus 2y minus 4. This is an equation in general form. Uh, sorry, in gradient form. Uh, and this is in gradient form.